Hi, um, I just wanted to uh, basically make a video to show you how this uh, uh, TS3 phase load uh, working. Um, I had a few people asking um, how to use it. Um, so basically um, what this machine does is test three phase um, energy meters. In this particular uh, test uh, smart meter for uh, EDMI meters, you can test Mark 10D, 10E, uh, 6E and even Mark 10A with the use of a uh, spacer that so you can put a spacer here uh, basically 50, mil 50 millimeter block and so use it for that. Um, the machine only you know, basically even at um, 20 30 amps only draws uh, 200 milliamp um, so you can see power here if I turn the switch off uh, you can get it go back to 560 milliamp that just shows how much this device draws. Um, so the idea with this machine is you can actually take it to, to sites and houses and, and then test, take the meter off and test it, um, to see if the meter is accurate enough. Uh, all three phases voltages are actually shorter together. So same voltage applies to all and it's the same current. So you can just go through the meter uh, and then compare the compare the voltage so in this case 248 uh, and which is matches this 48 here so you know it's, it's okay and if you go to phase uh, voltage B and phase C same thing and as with current 6.5 you can see it's got 6.8 so kind of similar and phase B and C so even though they all should be the same, in this case they're a little different. So you can just say basically the meter needs calibration or do validation, etc. Um, so the way this machine works is basically so you've got a uh, knob here, adjust the current. Yeah, you can see as you turn it, the current ch changes from zero to this machine could give you up to 50 amps, depending what um, the burden you have and have what good contact you have at the bottom. So it, it could give you 50 amps. Um, and the other one is just uh, for, for voltage, so you can see the voltage changes again from zero to um, the maximum supply input, which is in this case 235 volts. Uh, the other feature of this one is the um, separate supply, so you can measure the auxiliary or the mains. So this is basically that these two, these two are actually for supplying voltage to the meter itself. And uh, since the current and voltage and the, from this meter is actually oscillated from each other, these meters usually have Z-link, what they call Z-link, which shorts, um, you should be able to see from here, these kind of, actually, they've actually short the current to voltage pins. So if, for that reason, if you try to measure pins on, on this machine, it's a bit confusing um, because the meter actually shorts them, so therefore it gives you decent reading. In this case, if I go to auxiliary measurement and turn the mains off, you can see the machine switches off completely because this uh, meter in particular uh, doesn't have an auxiliary input. And the way you, you know it is, uh, yeah, so basically it's, I'll show you how. So usually what happens is this is a phase A, phase, phase B, phase C, and in this case it's neutral. But uh, when you have auxiliary uh, enabled, then these two become the auxiliary input and that becomes a neutral. So you got you see you got your phase A, phase B, phase C and neutral, while these two are auxiliary. Um, so the, the other thing is that we have done is um, for this you can see for the if I put another meter, but it, without changing anything, it's the same maximum current. You can see the current has gone up to 23 amps. And while well, the other one was about six amps. So that just shows that depending on your burden that you got between your contacts and the relays etc you get different values uh, so it's if you need more current you basically either put a spacer in between here or clean the contacts and the, uh, to get there um, so even here if you, if, if you have a look basically here at 25 or 26 amps we only draw in a game about 150 to 200 milliamps from the mains so this device doesn't use basically resist big chunk of resistors in there. So your uh, wall is giving you 26 amps and only draws 200 milliamp from the wall, um, which is quite good. 
Um, basically at the back of it, it's just got a main switch on or off of the fuse, which is a one amp fuse. Um, and the rest is easy. Um, I've got a basically emergency stop button here, just in case you see some smokes somewhere. Because these meters that you're testing, they're actually, you don't know if they're faulty or not. So that could be, at any time, they could smoke. So that's, it's good to have an emergency uh, stop button. Now, I don't know if there's anything else I can tell you about this uh, machine. Um, so, yeah.